my first question is for Alexis. Um, uh, why do you think Neff was the only person Alna gave her money back to? And my theory is that she somehow recognized herself in Neff. A hundred percent. I leaned on that a lot throughout the, the process. I think that they served as sort of mirrors for one another as young women trying to be self-made, um, trying to push past barriers that are out of their control, but that they want to change. Um, and on top of that, I think there's a bedrock of real friendship there. I think they are able to be vulnerable with each other in a very special way. I, Neff also, uh, I imagine as someone in the show, especially as someone who keeps her emotions pretty close to the chest, but there's something about Anna and how they see each other professionally that also allows you know, something to settle in that's very true in their friendship. Thanks. Um, for Ariane, do you think Todd fell for Anna's charm in a, an intellectually kind of way? Mm, great question. Um, I think, I think, yeah, I think so, actually. I think Todd was really interested in how much and how hungry Anna Delby was. I think, and how much he got so much done. And I think he recognizes a little bit of her in himself. And so I, I feel there is a kind of, you know, I've been saying this, but the, there, the energy of Todd in the last episode and the energy of Anna throughout the series is actually the same. It's, it's they're both trying to make a name for themselves. Um, and um, so I think that's something that really made him think about her more. For Alexis, uh, everyone in their own way is slightly self-centered in this show. Uh, even Neff was unable to relate to Rachel's problems just because Anna treats her differently. What's your take on that? Yeah, I think, um, you know, that scene in the hair salon really gets me particularly about that mm. dynamic. Just as a, a woman myself with, with natural hair and it, there's something really vulnerable about feeling like what you are naturally, what you bring into the room aesthetically is not enough or is not as widely accepted or, or, or treated as glamorous that you can't necessarily walk into any salon and feel like you'll be able to be served or even really seen. Um, so I think that there's something really heartbreaking um, that Neff experiences when it when it seems like there is something about Rachel that is inherently not Neff in a way that keeps her out of rooms and out of experiences. Mm. So I think it's less about Rachel specifically and just more about this feeling of not being enough. Thank you. For Ariana, um... Uh, Anna got a really severe sentence for her crimes, and I tend to suspect that part of the reason was that she was a spoiled child during the trial. Um, as a lawyer, do you think your character should have tried to suggest more firmly to behave? Oh, I think he tried. I think he tried to ask and say, hey, you can't do this because this is not human behavior. And she didn't listen. And, you know, it was numerous times where she would not wear the clothes that were there. And I think, um, I think he, I don't think Anna Delvey can really be tamed in any which way. And I think he was trying the best that he can as a father figure, as a lawyer. But at the end of the day, I think there's a lot of what happened in that that feels that she was just out of his hands. Like she she was her own entity, so. No control over her. <laughs> I don't think there's any control that you can have. I don't think anyone can have any control over Annabelle. Mm -hmm. um, Alex, uh, no, Rap, sorry. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Bye.